currently in the publisher Parish era, where most of the researchers are judged based on their statistically significant findings. It's often really difficult for young researchers to interpret the correct findings of the research. The recent development of high-speed and more sophisticated computing power utilizing high-end computers and statistical software packages has resulted in a significant increase in the use of statistical methods, tests for hypothesis testing, and reporting to the health literature. Researchers must realize that a clinical study is valuable and is of importance to clinical practice when the results are appropriately interpreted. Every year, hundreds of studies and clinical trials are conducted to test different hypotheses. These trials are entirely dependent on appropriate statistical tests to assess whether new therapies or treatment protocols are better in clinical practice as compared to the usual approach or methods. So researchers should understand what is the importance of both statistical and clinical significance. When looking from a clinical point of view, the statistically significant difference among groups is not of real prime importance. If a well-conducted study shows a difference in treatment options within two groups, it is of prime importance to know whether that difference is of clinically importance or not. Since sample size and measurement variability can easily influence the, t- the statistical results, a non-significant outcome does not imply that the new therapy or treatment protocol is not clinically useful. The term clinically significant can be used for the researchers in which clinically relevant results or outcomes are used to assess the effectiveness or efficacy of a treatment modality. The term clinically significant findings are those findings which could result in the patient improvement of the quality of life and those that makes him or her feel or function well. Clinically significant findings are those which improve medical care resulting in the improvement of the individual's outcome. Now, the statistically significant results may not be of clinical importance and vice versa. The results which are of clinical importance may not be statistically significant. An aware researcher with a logically and critical thinking mind is in the best position to evaluate research results and thereby applying them to practice evidence-based nursing. Logically, discussion of the clinically significant research results will increase discussion and understanding of the new treatment modalities and will help in the upliftment of evidence-based practice.